Appalachian Survivalist here. Uh, wanted to do an update. It's been a while. Haven't had some time. Been working a lot on some other projects. But I wanted to show you the repeater project that I've been working on. I've tried a couple different things. And I think I've decided to go with this. And basically what I've got here is um, I'm running a simplex repeater. And what that is is Surecom makes this recorder repeater and what it does is your frequency come your radio receives it records the received information and retransmits it back out uh, this keeps me from having to have a duplexer keeps me from having to um, have some sort of communication and also keeps me from having to have two different radios um, one is a receive and one is a, a send so what my plan with this is eventually I'm going to upgrade to where this is a mobile instead of a, a handheld but right now what I've got is this is a mobile repeater or sorry mobile um, linear amplifier and what this does is takes the four watts that this handheld radio is um, pushing and turns it into 85 watts so I've got that directly wired to our solar panel system which again goes down to the battery pack. Uh, so essentially what happens is you receive a transmission, or this radio will receive a transmission. This device will copy that transmission. It has up to 120 seconds of copy time, I believe, somewhere around there, uh, before it times out. And uh, basically what happens is this receives, this copies, and then resends it out through the radio which that radio then sends it to 85 watts and sends it out. So I could actually be anywhere on the property. I could be anywhere that this is receiving. Um, I'll show you the antenna here in a second. It's raining, as you can hear. Uh, I'll show you the antenna and what I've got it up on right now. So essentially this runs, this battery pack has a USB, so I'm able to run it directly off this jumper. And then this is running to 12 volt. I took a battery eliminator and I'm connected to that. And then this is running directly off the 12 volts here. So uh, just to give you a quick idea how this works. Uh, the only thing is this actually repeats. So you'll hear your own transmission. So you're losing a little bit of time as far as real, real time communications. But just to give you an idea, here's how it works. Radio check, one, two, three, four. 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 I hear you loud and clear. All right, so as you can see, um, my wife was down at the property, or down at the house. I'm up here at the cabin. Uh, the radio didn't pick up the original transmission, so she's only hearing me. I hear myself. She's going to hear herself. However, um, no one else is, it's not going to be two transmissions the way we've set this up. And what I did is I essentially use this as a repeater, uh, the way a repeater is set up. So this is transmitting on one frequency and receiving on another. And this is receiving on that frequency and transmitting on another. So this repeater is not going, I'm not going to hear, I'll hear my own transmission, but she's not going to hear both transmissions. If that makes sense. Um, or if I'm not, as long as I'm not in uh, direct radio to radio length with these then I'll only hear one transmission but essentially even though these are transmitting at 4 watts once this receives it this then goes back out at 85 watts so it looks like I'm gonna have to set the squelch a little higher it's just picking up on some random uh, RF but anyway um, just a quick update on that um, it's raining as you can hear the rain uh, nothing new has changed here at the cabin uh, we've stayed up here a couple times. Uh, my next project is going to be getting these up and running with all their antennas uh, on the tower. So I'll show you the tower here now. So as I said, it is raining. So you can, it's a wonderful rain out here. Um, what we've done is we put the tower up. Uh, we've got one, two, three sections of eight foot. So that's 24 feet. Right now, just the VHF antenna is up. Uh, we will be putting, I've got, what's going to 
end up going up is a 10 meter antenna, which is down at the house. I've got a UHF antenna and a second VHF antenna will go up. One VHF antenna will be completely um, devoted to the repeater. Another antenna will be for the use of long range communication or essentially bringing everything up here onto the tower, up here on the hill, uh, gives us a lot more uh, ability to get out there. So the goal is to have two VHF, one 10 meter, and a UHF. So I've got an offset antenna and we will end up, I would actually really like to put one more section up, but I don't know that it's gonna happen. So without putting up more guy wires and everything else, but we will see. As you can tell, uh, it's really greening up here. I mean, spring is in full spring. <laughs> spring has sprung. So uh, we do have more projects coming along. I've got a um, radio, sorry, a, a tent that is gonna go over this way. Uh, I've got, we're gonna put some type of latrine area down that way. And we will be doing some perimeter setup. So you'll see a lot as, as we get less rain and more time to work out here. You'll, I'm going to document a lot more of that. So as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless.